I, I, I thought it was a hoax. Seemed like everybody just wanted money and wanted, I, nobody seemed to obey their own rules. Several people told me, oh, you're, you could go to hell if you don't believe in Jesus Christ. And I, what, I don't know what that means. You know, I, I'm living in hell. I made so many decisions and bad choices, I definitely felt like everything just piled on top of me. I didn't know how to get out of it. I said so many foul things and acted a certain way for so long, I didn't know how to get out from under that. How to just say, oh, okay, I was, I was funning. The more I cursed God and Christian people and pushed God away from me, my life was just going down fast and I didn't know what to do about it. I like the money and the flash of you know, dealing drugs and making my own rules, not working for anybody else and running the streets. I, that just always appealed to me. You know, I listened to a lot of music and all the movies I watched would be about murder or mafia. And I'd listen to all the hard rap music, you know, about selling drugs and being foul to women carrying guns, I and mean, that was just what I filled my head with constantly, because that's what I thought I wanted. There was something inside of me that just said, this is not right. I caught myself praying several times before I'd come to God and Christ, that high-speed chases when my daughter was born, and that would physically almost make me sick or so angry, I just didn't know what to do, said. How are you praying to this God that you don't believe in? I didn't understand the Holy Spirit or any of that, but something inside of me would cry out to God when things were real bad, and then that would just upset me and almost spiral me into more chaos because I'd act out more out of anger. People talk about the emptiness, and that's, that was real for me. I didn't understand it until I started seeking God, but I was so empty and hurt inside and didn't know what to do, where to go. Like, I knew about these church people, but I, I'd talked so bad about them so many times that I couldn't just go run to church now. Well, I could. Daisy's little brother wouldn't press charges on me. Uh, I d did not get in near as much trouble as I should have you know, through the law, but I went and sought some help for myself, started talking to people, came to fellowship. A friend of ours had went here for five years, said, well, why don't you try to come to fellowship? It's not like any church you'd ever been to. I said, I'll try it. At that time, Daisy wasn't wanting to talk to me or be around me. I figured I'd go to church, at least I could be by her. First time I came to fellowship, Dave was talking about tithing. And that was one of my biggest things with the church. But I, he made me cry. He, I, I don't want to misquote here, but I believe it was Elijah and the lady with the flour and oil and uh, she didn't have anything, but she gave it to God, and I was right there, I had nothing. But I felt, like, I felt God pulling on me. I didn't know what it was, but like, I'd been praying a little bit, I'd been reading this material, asking me to surrender to a higher power greater than myself, to my understanding. Started to wrestle with God a little bit, and like, just tell him, I need to know you're real. I don't know what to do because I'm, I'm out of control. This is not working. Everything I do just seems to turn into garbage. You know, 
So I just kept coming back to church, kept going back to meetings like those silly people told me to. And I I just started feeling different. I, I can't even really explain. I mean, thoughts, I my thought pattern started to change a little bit. And I, I was just so broken. I knew, okay, I could believe in this God, this power greater than me. And he was showing me that it was the God I knew of as a child. Well, I was a little hesitant on Jesus, and finally he just said, if you want to be obedient, you have to believe in my son. So I said, okay, I'll accept Jesus as my savior, and the baptisms were coming up. So I got baptized out at Stillwater. I was like, okay, okay, Dad. <laughs> yeah, I can't question this thing anymore. I tried. I want. I didn't want to accept Jesus. I didn't want to be an alcoholic. You know, I just wanted to go home. I just wanted my house back, my family back. And I figured, go to church a couple times, go to a couple meetings. Daisy will let me come home, and we can be back to business as usual. And God had other plans. God has undone my chains.